Welcome to Media Minute. For this episode, we're taking our time. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. I'm Rachel Edge. And uh, for this episode, we're talking about time travel, time slips, everything oh, yeah. time related. Stopwatch. Stopwatch. Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to tick you yeah, off. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to make really lame time jokes yeah. or puns. We're certainly not on TikTok. Hey, there you go. Yeah, that's that's there, pretty good. There we go. I don't even know how to work. See, see how Rachel's shaking yeah. her head because she's the only one here who actually has a TikTok account? Yeah. You she, know she's what? Gen don't Z to, to our millennials. Do you, want me, do you want me to put your account <laughs> on the screen? I can throw oh, that up there. Please don't. No? Oh, you don't, don't do that. No. No. Oh, uh, no. I put our uh, Twitter handles in our name keys. Yep. You'll notice oh. when, whenever they appear. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, uh, before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe. Yes. Yep. Bitch you. Get YouTube. some engagement going. We want to know what you think. And to kick things off, yeah, time travel. Yeah. In media, in real life. <laughs> I mean, time travel is happen. technically real. I mean, we're moving forward one well, second per second. Yeah, like I'm doing, right, we're doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird when you think about it like that, actually. Yeah. It's fun. Huh. And, and actually, huh. uh, if uh, you go up to like the International Space Station because they're moving so fast, there's a little bit of time dilation. Yeah, don't you? Yeah, you lose a bit. Uh, yeah, I think you're you age less faster the faster you go towards the speed of light. So that's that's crazy. wild. Yeah, because they because there was like a pair of twin astronauts, and I th- I think they sent one brother up, and they just kind of monitored the uh, difference between the two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. Crazy, crazy. Time, people. Time. Can't avoid it. That's Can't like, escape it. So basically, that's like the true fountain of youth then, is going into space. Yeah, and going really fast. <laughs> he's got, he's got I am it, speed. Yeah. <laughs> keep the, pro- the problem is the faster you go, the heavier you get. So you got to go on a diet. Yeah. So it's not how that works at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I mean, kind of maybe the most famous time travel movie... Back to the Future, probably. Yeah, yeah. I would say so. It wasn't I mean, it's come up on this show like a lot. Last, oh my god, yeah. all yeah. the time. <laughs> I mean, it's classic. So, it is. It, it's it's one I think everybody has seen, so it's an easy one to talk about. Yeah, uh, they. And do, if you haven't seen it, then yeah, watch all three. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, they they do like the parallel universe uh, version of time yeah. travel where it's. Uh, you know, if you actually go back and do something, it's going to affect you. Yeah. 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 I think that's a pretty, pretty classic version of time travel, though. Because, like, I remember watching The Butterfly Effect, and that was, like, a big thing. That was, like, the biggest rule, right? Yeah. All I remember about that movie is that Ashton Kutcher stabbed himself in the hand. And woke up with no arms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I haven't seen that, yeah, like, since it came out. So, oh, no, like, uh, like, my recall about that movie is uh, pretty... Uh, Pretty vague at that. You're point. not missing out. Your 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 brain. It's a good one. Is yeah, better spent. But on other things. like, I don't know. Like other ones that come to mind for me personally is like Hot Tub Time Machine. Yep. That's a that's a hilarious version of like time travel too, right? Because like, they didn't have the parallel. Well, did did they have like a parallel universe thing? Was it the same thing? Uh, I can't remember. I haven't seen that movie in years. Yeah. Well, it uh, it would had to be because like. Uh, the future, the time that they go back to is different, like the reality th- I, yeah. after they no, make changes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I never saw it, so I can't help out. No, you can't. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I mean, classic, Jules Verne. Yeah. 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 It's your boy. That's, uh, I, I actually re- recommend reading the book. Yeah. Uh, Book's really good. I what was the most good. recent version? There was a movie version of that, like, in the 2000s, wasn't there? Really? Time machine or I'm I'm getting a strong Guy Pierce vibe. Yeah. That would make sense. I'm just gonna look it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe do the, that. I, 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 I don't know. It seems like it's been a while since uh they, they've adapted that. But Yeah, like the actual right? like, time machine story? Yeah, yeah the time mm-hmm. machine story. But the classic one, yeah. Because yeah. it's it's like time travel movies have been 
all over, really. Like, uh, for example, The Tomorrow War. There's, like, the most recent time travel movie, right? Yeah. Um, I found that movie okay, but they didn't really... To me, they didn't work within their own logic for the time travel. I, I, like, yeah. To me, like, him meeting his daughter creates a paradox, and apparently they were trying to avoid these paradoxes. Like, yeah. how could he go into the future to meet his... Uh, spoilers, by the way. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. How could he go into his uh, future to meet his own daughter to get this, uh, uh, the toxin or whatever, when, well, you know, that, that future you know, doesn't exist, yeah. so. Uh, another thing, too, with that, though, like, I thought was interesting was, like, the whole, if we're going to go, like, spoiler alert, then huge spoiler alert here, but, like, the whole idea of how the military kind of drafted people. Yeah. Yeah, that, that makes like, no hey, sense. It's like, yeah, you get a week's training. Uh, and, like, uh, like you, you can't even learn military. how to, use, like, effectively use a military-grade firearm in a week. 100%. Yeah. I thought the, like, the other Takes thing two. with the drafting, too, though, that was interesting <laughs> for me was, like, the whole idea that they only picked people who were going to be dead before, like, all of it happened. Yeah, that that was... How, how, how were they able to get that technology? Was it just because of, like, the people that came back from the future and was like, yo, we need people? Yeah, no, they, apparently they just made it and it was very shoddy. Huh. So. But, yeah, The Time Machine. Time. 2002 with Guy Pierce. Yeah. Called it. So that was, 20, nice. that was 20 years ago? Apparently, yeah. Oh, my God. I think that was, like, one of the first DVDs I rented. <laughs> Yeah, Back when right. DVDs that. were new. That and House that. on Haunted Hill, the new one. Oh. Yeah, that was... <laughs> it wasn't Ghost Ship? <laughs> this was better than Ghost Ship. But that's a pretty well, low bar. Yeah, it's, it's, I was yeah, about it's to easy say. to clear. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, um, yeah, we were talking about something. Yeah, yeah. time travel. Time! Yeah. But, uh, Please, yeah, uh, for me, yeah. Tomorrow War. I, I think the the concept of it, like... A future, cool. a future war was okay, but the execution wasn't uh, so hot. So as someone who has not seen it, yeah, should I? I would, I would watch it. Put it on the background while you wash like your dishes. Act. Yeah, mm. like it's purely it, a popcorn movie. Yeah. Like if you're not thinking too hard about it, it's one of those that you can watch and you can have a good time. Because like the creature designs were kick ass. Yeah, I thought they were so cool. It's worth it for Jack J K Simmons. Yes, hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I understand your point. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it was crazy because people were bugging him about because like of how jacked he is. Because uh, I guess he started bodybuilding like um, for Justice or not for Justice League, but around the same time Justice League was coming out, and he was playing the Commissioner, right? Yeah. And so people thought he was getting jacked for that role, and he was like, "Nah." He's like, yeah. "I just realized I was like, out of shape, and I wanted to change that." And he's like, "I I'm well into my I think it's sixties." Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. And he was like, I don't want to live like this anymore. So he just changed his life and started like working out like crazy. And it's funny because the amount of people that were like, uh, Chris Pratt looks tiny compared to J.K. Simmons. Yeah, like, Simmons it was, is. It was nuts. Like, like could, the, you, could you take a scrawny J.K. Simmons seriously? Of course not. Well, I mean, he was J. Jonah Jameson. In the, yeah, but if he was yeah, like five foot, yeah, 120 pounds, like he wouldn't. You know what? I would love to see him play an elderly (laughs) Spider-Man. Yo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Totally. Actually, it was funny because I saw a meme they were talking about the Spider-Man series and how like they changed the Spider-Mans, but they kept same or they kept JK for like all of (laughs) yeah for every movie. I love that. Well, that's like how in the James Bond films that they kept uh, was M like the same Judy Dench from like. The 1960s onwards, like yeah. James Bond is like the same age, but she just like <laughs> continues to age up. Yeah, <laughs> which has nothing to do with time travel. No, not at all. But, Aging is but, like, time travel. Yeah, it is. Believe me, it is. <laughs> yeah. Like at the same time, though, it's like when you find an actor that fits a role so well, like why replace them? Yep. Um. Yeah. 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 Let's keep this. Let's yeah. Keep this show going. Here's what I want want to talk about. Here's a messed up thing about the term, like Terminator is time travel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah absolutely. But here's kind of the messed up thing about the original Terminator, is that John Connor is sending Kyle Reese back in time to bang his mom. You're like here, here's a picture. <laughs> yeah, sort of. <laughs> here's a picture. Go find her. Wink. Nudge, nudge, <laughs> nudge, nudge. Take care of that man. Whatever you do, don't bang her. Wink, wink. 
Yeah, like that's kind of weird. Dad, <laughs> don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Which I. Okay, I got. I got a sidebar here. Best. Yeah, get it. Sidebar. Sidebar. So, uh, yeah, my dad was a. Uh, I was like probably like four or five. And uh, my dad was changing his battery and the battery in his watch. So he takes it out and Pete just puts it in my palm and says, I don't know why the hell he said this, but now don't eat that. <laughs> what do you think <laughs> I'm going to do? <laughs> of course I'm going to eat it. <laughs> and I did. And you did. And how did it turn out? I had to spend the next 24 hours in the hospital until it passed. <laughs> they needed to make sure it didn't break. But come on, okay, like, so yeah. don't don't so put a watch slow. battery <laughs> in your in a child's hands and say don't eat it. That's, that's They're going to yeah, eat it. Yeah, but like that seems like a, the start of a time travel story, though. Ooh, yeah, kind of does. Yeah, <laughs> the child eats the watch, watch battery, battery and then he can, like, travels through time, opens a portal. Yeah, there you go. Someone read it. Do do a treatment. It's out there. Yeah. Somebody do it. <laughs> so uh, back to uh, what we were actually talking about. Actually, you want to hear a creepy time travel thing that I didn't really realize was a creepy time travel movie until, like, literally last night when it hit me like a bolt of lightning? Sure. I don't think either of you have seen it, but uh, The Time Traveler's Wife. I, that Johnny Depp? Yeah, I think I've seen oh. it. No? Not Johnny Depp. Um, uh, Eric Bana? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking and the astronaut's Ra- wife. Yeah. And uh, Rachel like Adams, I think? Something I don't know. She was in the Notebook. Yeah, Rachel McAdams. Okay, yeah. So, anyways, like, watched the movie years ago, and at the time I thought. Are I was you really getting off camera help? Sorry. Are you getting off camera help? Do you have a coach? Oh, not at all. No I don't know. I, don't know. I heard a voice in there, and there. You look to the left. Or your left. No, I have a small dog who mm-hmm. likes to go okay. under decks okay. that I've been trying to keep an eye on. Yeah. So. We like to keep it honest. Yeah. We, like, we like honesty, integrity. And we, we're, I, I don't know this. We're third. the most mo- morally Ac- superior, accuracy. Yeah, morally no, accurate podcast. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Integrity, not, accuracy, and honesty. That's our it, motto. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> back to this creepy ass movie. Uh, so, anyways, the premise of it is that this little girl keeps seeing this this man, and his name is Henry, and she like he comes and visits her, but he doesn't say where he's from and she sees him like disappear it like just through time because he's like i'm a time travel traveler and she's like oh okay cool and then as she gets older stops visiting her as often and she's like oh, okay like whatever maybe it was just my imagination then she meets this guy um they fall in love and they get married and she realizes it that he's a time traveler and that that was the guy that was visiting her throughout her youth so he was a time traveling groomer Basically, it's like it's painted as this like romantic story of like how they can never be truly together all the time because like he has to time travel. Otherwise, he'll die. (laughs) Like It's a weird it's a really weird concept, but it's like he disappears. She knows that he's got back in time to see her. Yeah. 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 It's kind of weird that like time travel is often so incestuous. Yeah. Like Back to the Future, too. (laughs) Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, Marty's mom was. uh, Yeah. There's, yeah, there's so a lot of yeah. Oedipal complexes going on in yeah. time travel. Ah. What's, what's up the go, time travel community? <laughs> Just, guys, come down. <laughs> Questions. But, yeah, like, that messed with me. Like, it, when I thought about it last night, I was like, oh, like, I'll bring this up. And then I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> it's it's kind of gross, actually. You know, not romantic, like, way that they tried to frame it. Because like, it was, like, one of those, like, r- romance novels. Yeah. They turned into a movie, and I was like, oh, okay. People are like, oh, he's been f- with her her entire life. Her life. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> Should do that. <laughs> don't don't groom knew- children, people. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, it's like, yeah and he knew hell. everything about her, right? Like, he, like, and that's how he wooed her, was, like, he knew everything. Yeah. It, it's... Remember that time you know. bathed me? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh wait, yeah, oh, like that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. I forgot about that. Like I don't know. Yeah, that... I get what I get the whole like idea of it kind of being romantic, but in the end, I'm just like, oh. Yeah, yeah, that that is pretty oh. creepy for sure, for sure. But I I want to talk about like best time travel show though, Quantum Leap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quantum Leap was sick. Quantum Leap was awesome. Good one. Uh. Apparently, it never got like a like a 
true ending though because like they just like you know they canceled the series so like the ending oh, is right. just like a voiceover it's like sam beckett never returned home and that <laughs> that was the end of the series and every, everyone was bummed out apparently they did film like a, a proper uh thing where like the uh his guide the the other guy uh that he would see as a hologram i can't remember his name i remember the the computer was called ziggy though um, uh, that's awesome. Uh, but that's a great name. Yeah, but they did film like a proper ending, but it, like they never got to air it. It's just like a voiceover. It's like, and Sam Beckett never returned home. Like after helping like two hundred people. It's messed up. Actually, yeah. didn't wasn't there a quarter leap episode that. that got like permanently pulled from TV because it was considered insensitive to I think transgender people. It could be. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it might not be a trans thing, but uh, yeah, I think there's like a. Quantum Leap episode that got yanked. Yeah, because he does leap into that's, that's that's what just, yeah, like, yeah, he, any type of person. Any yeah, any type of person. Oh, of course, Quantum Leap is that like that infamous meme where he uh, he leaps into a uh, Down syndrome guy and he closes the door. Yeah, I'm not going to say the line. <laughs> Do it. But actually, if you watch that episode, it's like super. Uh, it's kind of heart wrenching. It's about like a uh, like the person that he leaps into is about to be sent off to like a home or whatever because that's what they used to do back in the days like and like anyone with down syndrome or whatever they just like ship them off somewhere and then that was it yeah like yeah. how can you rag on a show where the theme is abandonment yeah like come on <laughs> I, I know people like canceling each other but that's but yeah quantum leap uh interesting concept too cuz he could only travel within his lifetime so he could only travel between like the point where he was born to uh like his current age which is like a really know, yeah like so it was only between like never knew that. uh like the 50s I to i guess 1980s so he never did anything because i didn't watch i wasn't like a huge yeah fan. like he didn't go back to like the 20s or anything like that because uh, civil war or anything no huh. so interesting that kind of makes it cooler yeah Super yeah. bummer everything, though. It's like, he never returned home. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's lost in he, space he, forever. It's like five Man, seasons, I, and he never returned home. I feel like when, like, companies pop out like that, like, with it, it's like, it's just such a slap in the face to your viewership. Because it's like, they've been with you for how long? And you're just like, I'll give them the decent, like, ending? Yeah. I don't know. I, that's a piss off. Yeah, for sure. Um Let's see what else. Uh, time travel. I actually found it. I haven't watched this movie yet, uh, but oh, right. uh, I found this YouTube channel. It's a ex uh, Navy uh, fighter jet pilot, and he talks about like different like military movies and how you know if they they're accurate or not. But uh, That's he, cool. he talked about this film that I'd never heard be- about before. It came out like in 1980, which was like I think five or six years before Top Gun. But it's like about a uh, like a modern aircraft carrier, modern being 1980, that goes back in time before the start of Pearl Harbor, and oh. like hmm. they they intercept like Japanese zeros with like F-14s. <laughs> <laughs> just, just absolutely destroy yeah. them. But uh, I think it's Martin Sheen and uh, who's Spartacus? Kurt Douglas. I believe so. Yeah. That sounds right. Kirk is the older one, right? That's yeah. Michael? Yeah. 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 So, like, Kirk Douglas, uh, Martin Sheen uh, in it. And Crazy. Cool. Yeah. But, yeah, interesting. Like, this World War Two, uh, or this ship goes back in time to World War Two, And then they have to tr- try to figure out, like, what not to do to screw to things do. up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If, it, if it's not Iron Eagle, I don't care. Ar- <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, Al. Al was the guy. Oh, yeah, Qu- Al, yeah. Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap, yeah. He's always smoking a cigar, too. Yeah, I think. in a white, like, tuxedo. Yeah. Yeah, Quantum Leap. Was fed. He jumps into Dr. Ruth at one point. I think I may have saw that one. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty weird. Anyway, sorry, I, sorry, I had to just do some house- housekeeping, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. What else for uh, time travel uh, movies? Um Twelve monkeys. Twelve monkeys, definitely. With oh, yeah. Bruce Campbell. Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bruce Willis. That would have been a com- that would have been a completely different movie if Bruce Campbell was in it. That would have been great. I would love to see that cut. Yeah. 
Listen up, you primitive monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> this is my boomstick. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the future. <laughs> That's a shotgun. Out of oh, <laughs> out of any time travel movie I can think of, yeah. Twelve Monkeys makes time travel look like just the worst. Yeah, like way to yep. do it. Yeah, everyone who's like they take basically prisoners <laughs> unwillingly. You send them back in time. It's like basically torture. Yeah, you know, you're all like like drooling. There's snot coming out. You're sweaty. You're mostly naked except for a plastic bag they put you in. Yeah. Oh, it seems like a nightmare. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm going DeLorean. That's my that's yeah. My, that's my time motive. travel go DeLorean. Yeah, that's my mode of transportation. Not, not, the, not Twelve Monkeys, yeah. right? Yeah. To be fair, though, like if if like time travel was a thing, like I feel like it wouldn't wouldn't be easy. Like I feel like it would be painful. You, like, think, I don't, you I don't think it would think hurt? It would be, yeah. No, so I feel like honestly, like Twelve Monkeys is like a more realistic representation. Because let's be real. I don't know like, if we can use that word. Govern- <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I don't know if we can use the word yeah. realistic, but well, it, you know what I mean, though. Yeah, yeah, like in, yeah. The se- in the sense of like it, it's not going to be all like sunshine and rainbows. Like it's going to literally rip you apart, kind of thing. Yeah, well, if you're I don't tra- think it's going to be a thing. if you're transporting matter, like you're literally ripping something apart and putting it back together. <laughs> that, that's why yeah. teleporters on Star Trek are so messed up because you basically uh, die every time you go into one. But we don't know. Maybe oh, maybe nice. it tickles. <laughs> maybe it, maybe uh, it feels great. Yeah. Hey, I like People the like getting piercings. But- yeah. I don't know about that. But, like, if time travel did exist, I wouldn't be surprised if governments did test it on, like, prisoners and stuff. Because, like, half, like, medical uh, stuff has been done on prisoners. And that's how they discovered stuff, right? Not all of it, but, like, a good majority of it. Well, like, a, a lot of kind of the unethical medical stuff was, like, World War Two yeah. prisoners yeah. of war. Uh it was like a weird. There was a Japanese section that did all sorts of like really, really messed up stuff. Yeah, there's a movie about that. Yeah, yeah. it's long, and you probably don't want to watch it. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah, but yeah. like, I mean, you can't. Yeah, do I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, let's bring it into some of the more kind of real world. So, yeah, yeah, bring it back. Because yeah. some people have claimed to travel through time or cut glimpses of different time periods or whatever. Yeah. Uh, time slips and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, um, <laughs> kicking things off. Uh, apparently there's, like, a street in Liverpool where, like, this happens a lot, where people, like, feel like they've been transported into, like, a different era or stuff. Like, people will see, like, uh, they'll go into a store, and it's, like, a store from the 1930s. It's not, like, the store that's currently there. Weird. Just this one town. Yeah, well, this one street in Liverpool, but there's kind of a theory because, like, the underground, like the the underground, the the railway. Uh, okay, okay, not okay. not the underground railway, but the <laughs> <laughs> the tube system. Um, and, like they have like a kind of a circular track, like right underneath that street, and they think like there's some sort of like EMF radiation or something like that that's messing with people's perception. It's a good sales strategy. Yeah. For sure. You get to resell stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to buy it again. You, you could sell to people in the future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not going to replenish your stock. You yeah. You, you could. Uh, kind of, kind of really smart. Yeah. Sell to people who are not even born yet. Yeah. That's like the ultimate capitalism move. Oh, Walmart's probably just like, okay. They're <laughs> probably on the phone right now. Yeah. It's I like, need to be there. <laughs> yeah, we, okay. yeah. Like, that's trippy. Yeah. That would be so messed up. Like, like, I don't know. I had something and now I completely blanked on it. Never mind. Yep. Keep going. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's others. Um, uh, apparently, there was this British pilot. Uh, it was in the period between World War One and World War Two, and he flew somewhere and he flew over kind of a, like an abandoned airfield that had been like abandoned in like the 1920s or whatever. Like there were cows on it. Like the r- runway was tore up and everything. Then when he was flying back, uh, he went through a storm, and when he looked down, it, like it looked like an active airfield. With planes that he didn't recognize. Didn't they make a movie about this? Maybe. Or at least like a, like a major TV movie? Yeah. This sounds like, I've never, this sounds super familiar. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure I've seen this movie. And apparently like these planes were painted yellow, which he'd never seen before. And uh, when World War II started, like the planes that he saw and kind of the colors. It's windy. <laughs> Getting a little bit of a hiss on our end. Yep, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I'm uh, going to have to cut to the, we'll be right back. We lost the feed yeah. graphic. <laughs> But yeah, this uh, apparently what he saw was like they they brought this airfield back online in World War II, and apparently he saw this in like 1935. Well, so, yeah, so people claim to claim to see stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's yeah. that one dude. Uh, oh, he he posted a video online like predicting Donald Trump's election. Like he had his face all blurred out. Yeah. It was, oh, I can't remember his name. Crap. But he made all these predictions, and the internet kind of freaked out about him. And then he had to come out a couple years later. It's like, I'm not actually from the future. Yeah. Calm down, everybody. I was, I was just making yeah. a video. Well, back in the early 2000s, there was uh, kind of this online thing. Uh, there was a guy making, like, posts called uh, John Titor. And he claimed to be from, like, 2036. And he'd come back in time to, I, I don't know, prevent World War Three or whatever. But a- anyway, like, years later. Noble cause. Yeah. But, yeah, he had, like, all sorts of predictions and stuff. Um, but, yeah, years later, it was, like, like two brothers who were just, like, making a whole bunch of stuff up. People were, like, super buying into, like, this story. Oh, yeah? They're, yeah. They're taking Crazy. the bait? Actually, there's an anime about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> not, not specific. Like, they reference John Teeter and stuff, but uh, it's a time travel anime going back to media. Um, I recommend you check it out. Actually, Steinsgate It's pretty good. Right. Yeah, where can I find it? Um, uh, should be online. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's pr- I don't know who carries it specifically. Crunchyroll, probably Netflix. Yeah, but yeah, is it, uh, it's that's basically been a group of like uh, college students who th- the way that they handle time travel is like they don't physically travel through time, but they can send like messages. Okay. Uh, back and to change like outcomes of things, and of course, it completely messes up <laughs> reality. <laughs> it gets yeah. kind of dark. Get, uh, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Can you time travel without messing up reality? Not really. Or, no. Or but do you have to? Like, is that part of the well that you're meant to go back to mess up reality? Hence, yes. Hence the loop. Yeah, the time loop. And that yeah, you're either is y- really you either. Making like a, a new reality, or you're just in a loop. Yeah, like you're, you're yeah. there because you're meant to be there, so you can cause that. Yeah, so you can do that. Again. Yeah. Speaking of loops, Groundhog Day. Yes. Oh. Okay. Is that a time travel? Tra- uh, or is it a glitch? Time travel movie. There we go. What's that? Is it a glitch? Is it still? It still kind of falls yeah, into that whole time. He, he travel time travels though, back it? to the start of the day. Yeah. But he's like stuck. He it's the same day. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the still, same day, or like it's not. You're not going to a different day. Yeah. Well, has anybody defined time travel as just like going back to the future, or like going to the future, or going to the past? Because technically, it's like if you're restarting the same day over and over and over again, it would be time travel, wouldn't it? Because you're still. That's my question. Yeah. Is yeah, it time travel? I would say it's. Yeah, I would say it's time travel for yeah, sure. I, I, I'm leaning towards no. There are people. What would you say who, it is then? Time loop. Yeah. It's like being like a. Uh, Stuck yeah, in like okay. a a drain that won't drain. Yeah, if that makes mm, sense. Okay. There's an episode That's of fair. Stargate SG One that did that too. That's a good show. Yeah. That was the, that was, except all the alien planets were British Columbia. <laughs> 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 Boy, this this looks specific. <laughs> this looks like British this Columbia. This looks familiar. <laughs> yeah. We found this that. new town called Kamloops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, boy. I uh, think we go, just going back to uh, Groundhog Day for a second, like, people have calculated how much time they actually think, like, Bill Murray had, like, spent in that time loop, and it's, like, depressingly long. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To get to know, like, everyone's life and the details. Yeah. Like, that's, like, Ralph, and he's a wife has health issues. and <laughs> I, I, There's a scene in the diner, yeah, where he describes, like, everyone in there to yeah. uh, Tea? Oh, I can't remember the love interest. I can't either. But, yeah. They, they kind of figured that you would probably go insane if it happened You'd to have to. There's no way. Like, you're living the same day over and over and over and over again. Like, yeah. I don't know if I could do that. Coming Actually, to grips with immortality? Yeah. 
It, it is. That's, the, that's it is, the deep question. Oh, it is it. kind of a form of immortality. Like, well, like, he kills himself how many times? Yeah, he, and yet he's not dead. Yeah, he just keeps waking up. But it's like you can do whatever you want, basically, but you're kind of stuck to what you, like, it's in with, there's limits to it. Yeah. Like, like you, you could only travel so far in a day or you could only do so many certain things and, like, you can plant a seed, but you'll see no growth. Yes. Man, I am on the philosophical you are, tip today. You are. Yeah, what is going sure. on? <laughs> sure. Bam. But yeah, um, <laughs> you know, you like this same TV show every day. Like, you know, there's yeah, no. The same songs on the radio. Same songs on the radio. Same same news. Like, that, that would be super rough. Same interactions. That would be brutal. Yeah, same interactions. I mean, there'd be like variations, but. But yeah, for the most part, it's yeah, just routine, pretty much, inescapable routine. Oh my god, yeah. There's also, I mean, it's, it's not really and time. Gra- to Groundhog Day was messed up. <laughs> it was. It was. If you if you take a second to think about it, yeah. It's also things like uh, it's not really time travel, but like there's certain shows and stuff where like everyone else gets frozen, except for you. Oh, yeah. That'd, yeah. That'd be messed up. You know. I always wonder about the physics of that. It's like... Like, like cryogenics? No. Well, not, not frozen like cryogenics. They're just like stuck in time or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're like the only one. Yeah. Um, Would you be like the one just moving super fast and everybody else is moving slow? Or are they actually like frozen? I think they'd be frozen. Like, there's. I think it was uh, Tales from the Loop. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Nope. They did, like, an episode. Uh, That's an interesting concept. There's a town, it's all sorts of. There's, like, a Large Hadron Collider type thing or alien. It's like there's this weird advanced technology in this, like, one town, and, you know, it messes things up. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I think there's an episode where, like, someone finds something and, they, and, like, they can freeze time, but then they break it, and so, like, they're stuck in, like, a frozen town. That would be one of the best superpowers. Freezing time? Cro- yeah, like controlling time. Like, yeah. You can't get much better than that. This, you could get a full night's sleep no matter what. That would, yeah. That would be cool. Just freeze time and nap. The only thing you would age super fast, though, like, compared to everybody else. I don't know. Maybe uh, not. Well, if you're, you're, you know, if you did, like, pause time and did eight hours of sleep, you'd be eight hours older relative to everyone else. And that would add up. But what if it's the reverse? You, you, like, like, you're not you, speeding you, through. You freeze yourself. You're freezing them, but you're not actually moving faster. You're just freezing everything else. I guess you're not affecting, you know, you're not running real fast. You, your biological clock isn't affected? Yeah, everyone else is. You, okay. you just gotta pause. You hit the pause button, then you just go about your business. That's a concept. So, like, so if you pause, you're fine, but like everybody else would still age while they're paused. Oh no, they get they get they yeah, get some. They're just uh, frozen. They get some time off from aging. Yes. Wouldn't that mess with some people though? No, you're they're unpaused. Yeah, they wouldn't. No, no, but like, they, they get unpaused. Like, would they know that they were paused, or no, would it just like they'd be like, totally oh, clueless. it was just like a weird. Totally right? clueless. Yeah, the mess. Uh, the thing about that. Though, like, if you do, like, change stuff, like, say you pause time, you go into a store and, like, clean out the supply of chips. Everybody oh. comes back. It's like, what, what the hell happened? All the yeah, chips. Like, oh, yeah. People, <laughs> will, people will start getting suspicious <laughs> yeah. when things start going missing. <laughs> Who keeps eating the Pringles, man? Yeah, it's like, what the, the hell? Is- <laughs> I just want Pringles. <laughs> the Doritos <laughs> came in <laughs> yesterday, and now yeah. what? What Come happened? On. Nothing. There's nothing on camera. It's just, boom, empty shelves. Yeah, like, it's going to take us another <laughs> week to refill this Gatorade. This would be, like, the most, uh, like, <laughs> petty thing. Yeah, the most do inconvenient superpower. <laughs> yeah. But just to the, your community. Yeah, just, like, who keeps stealing the chips? What's going on? <laughs> See, I don't know why, Send but in the I FBI. would picture, like, <laughs> would picture somebody, like, uh, with a doctorate or something, like, having that power and just freezing it because, like, I don't know, like their loved one or something was dying of a disease that like is uncurable and they like would just pause the time to try and like it, find, the find cure. a cure yeah yeah i, I don't know why that popped in that my head but it did something <laughs> has that been right? done i don't know like don't the concept so. of cryogenically Maybe. like freezing someone who has like a disease yeah, yeah. Well, so then you that? can uh his head 
Yeah. Actually, there's there's uh, going back to conspiracy theories. Yeah, let's get back to that episode. Yeah. <laughs> Most of y'all haven't seen that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, there's a theory that uh, the reason why they had the the movie Frozen, they called it Frozen. If you search for Disney Frozen, it comes up with the movie instead of the fact that he froze his head. So it was like a diversion? Yeah. It was, like a, it was a false flag kind of thing? <laughs> false flag. <laughs> That's awesome. If that's true, that's hilarious. Yeah. But I, 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 I believe it. Yeah. I don't know if he actually did freeze his head or not. I think yeah, that, I that's a rumor. Because it was like John but, Wayne, Disney, and I think there's a third one. Yeah. That kind of supposed to be. But people, they, they like cryogenically froze themselves. Yeah. People do that though. Like, like they. Was it John? Was it John Wayne had like a disease of some sort? Or was that he, Disney? Uh, he shot. Um, the, the, the Gen- Genghis, Genghis Khan. Khan movie. Yeah, and it was like yeah. downrange from where, like, where they were testing atomic bonds, yeah, and bombs. A bunch of people got yeah. cancer. Yeah, like the, half the cast got cancer from that. Ooh. Yeah, it was yeah. bad. It's spicy. Also, John Wayne played Genghis Khan. Yeah, that's... <laughs> It was bad. <laughs> no. Have you, no. Have you ever seen, like... It's amazing. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Really? No. It's literally Aww. John Wayne, like, being John Wayne. Just John Wayne. distressed in, like, Genghis, in, like, Genghis Kong. Mongolian like, face, if that's a thing. <laughs> I, I guess so. Uh, wouldn't that be Asian fishing? Something like that. Isn't that Asian like fishing? Term? Isn't that the right term? I, I can't remember. I don't know what you're then, then again, like, Genghis Khan is, like, responsible for, like... Fifty percent. Yeah, that dude, dude went world's dude, genetics. So. That dude got to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know if it was all good. If you know what I mean, like I don't think it was good. Was kind <laughs> of a yeah, savage. It was just something that kind of happened. If by good you mean consensual, then you're not. No, not even close. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was trying to keep it PG. But, <laughs> this is PG. Um, yep. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, crazy, I know it's easy though. to slip back into bitchy yeah. mode. But I, I guess oh, that, oh, oh, that, oh, that's oh, sorry, kind no. of a way to time travel, though, is to, like, cryogenically freeze yourself. Assuming that they yeah. can bring you back, which they don't know how to do. Yeah, like, I, uh, that's, I've been wondering, because you yeah, don't really hear about that much anymore. And I was wondering, like, yeah. remember all those frozen people? Like, it was a big did, thing, like, back in the early 2000s, I think a lot yeah. of people were, were doing it. Like, did they ever thaw them out? I no, no, well, like, they... They, they're waiting aren't they to yeah see if they can a do they it. like if they freeze your entire body like you have to have a cure for like whatever disease or whatever that but if it's just your head i mean what are you gonna yeah, do like, yeah well, do, you, do you need like a cyborg body or or what yeah, like are they gonna is, fu- are they gonna futurama that where they just put you in a fish tank like is that what they're waiting on yeah because uh, i got bad news and i mean if but you like freeze stuff too like it damages like yeah. cells, yeah. like if you have like a piece of steak in your freezer for yeah, I was, I was gonna, like, too a, long. Freezer burn. I, I have a frozen burnt bag of shrimp that I bought last week. Yep. Your head's been in this ice tray for like what, 40, 50, 60 years? Yeah. Well, and another thing too is like, what if like down the line, it's like they are able to unfreeze people, like make them alive again. Like, would they do it? Like, is that... Is that like like philosophically speaking, well, like ethical? I guess. Well, the thing is, imagine I pay a company whatever price to do this. There's no guarantee that that company is going to exist in ten years. Yeah. Like, like what, what like happens to my head? <laughs> yeah. Just throw you out? Like I, I don't yeah. know. It's weird. Weird gray area. It goes on storage wars. Know, like, yeah. <laughs> that would be messed up. You buy a storage yeah. unit, and you open it. It's a hey, bunch it's of Mike's bodies. head. <laughs> Let's see. We got some. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, old couch. Uh, <laughs> some a pool cue. Yeah, Mike's head. Rods, uh, Mike head. head. <laughs> but like, I don't know. It's like, there's a question for you guys. Would you ever like want to be frozen and then like re animated? No, I guess. Good, like, like, like in I the don't future? even need to hear the rest of the question. I'm good. At the current technology level, no. <laughs> yeah. oh, it, like, if, if it's like, like an alien thing where you get into a pod and then you come out later. Because they, they cryogenically it? freeze themselves, like, between... So if we could just yeah, literally yeah. time travel. Well, it, it, yeah, it. yeah, it'd be a one-way trip into the future. Which no, is no, which no. is what we're doing right now. It'd just be, from your perception, like, you hmm. wouldn't have aged. Kind of messed up when you say it like that, that you're on, like, a one-way trip to the future currently. Because it's like you are, but yeah, you don't this think is, of it like yeah, that. I'm doing it right now. Yep. I don't, if I was, like... That's weird. Close to the end of my life, I'd yeah. say yeah. Sure. It's like probably like. Really? 
I, yeah, I'd, I'd say goodbye. Like, hey, guys, like, I know I'm going to die. I've probably got maybe two or three months left in me. I'm going to go check out the feature. Yep. I love you all. Thank you for your love and support. And Yeah. I'm going to go check out what a strip club looks like in 3028. Yeah. Specifically 3028. <laughs> no other time. <laughs> Oddly specific timing. I don't know. I don't think I'd do it. I think I'd just let me go. Let me let me die. Yeah. It's like it would be messed up like waking up in the future knowing uh, knowing that everybody you've ever loved is gone. Yeah, but you get gone, to just, gone. Just, just you know, it'd be like a last vacation. Yeah. Go check out, see what Go check see, out the future. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a good point. Yeah. I don't know. I just hmm. There's actually a, a science fiction series that I've been listening to the audiobooks of. It's called uh, – um, the series is called We Are Bob. And what it is, like, this this guy gets, like, gets fr- cryogenically frozen. Uh, As one does. Yeah. But they – like, he doesn't get re- uh, unfrozen, but, like, they uh, slice up his brain to put in, like, a computer simulation – yeah. Uh, I thought you were going to say salad for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Computer salad? Because, uh, uh, like... Chop up for salad. Yeah. Uh, like, so it, it's salad. not actually him. It, it's like a copy of him. Oh. So he's now, like, a computer program. And then they put this computer program of him, like, on this, like, drone to go explore the universe. And he just, mm-hmm. like, continually... He makes copies of himself. So he has, like, an army of him, like, mm-hmm. self, but as spaceships. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty weird concept. It's a wild, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, called, it it's called cool. the Bob verse because it's just like multiple copies of him. I'm going to have to find it's a graphic not, for that. Yeah. <laughs> I think the first book's called like We Are Legion, We Are Bob. We Are Legion. Damn, that sounds really familiar. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I hmm. If you've been on like an online bookstore or anything recently, it's probably been advertised. Yeah. I think it's fairly popular. Sure. Side note though, yeah. like isn't that unethical? Like if you were like yo, I'm going to freeze myself, wake me up in the future. And then, like, the company was like, psych, we're just going to cut your brain out and, like... Well, it, it's not even you. It, it's a copy of you. Yeah, like, your so. brain was destroyed in the process of making this copy of you. So, yeah, but, like, it, in one way, you're immortal, yeah. but it, so, it's like going into a Star Trek transporter. You die. Yeah. Uh, but, like... Hmm. Like, is your, is your clone your property? Yeah, well, like, does well, the clone dead, have the same rights as a human being kind of thing? Or is that, like... Yeah. Well, n- not in this world. Like, ah. the people who bring him okay. back are like, it's like a religious organization or something that has taken over the earth. And yeah. So hmm. there's some ethical questions. But, uh, well, yeah. I treat my clone like a real person. I would too. I would too. I feel like you, I feel like that would be no, the normal I do. reaction, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> which, which Chris am I talking to? Chris, what did Chris do? You're, you're, you're talking to Ty Chris. Ty Chris. <laughs> and not like the country <laughs> Ty, Ty Chris yeah not Thailand Chris <laughs> like, like neck Thai Chris H- how about that would you if it was possible to uh, create a computer simulated version of yourself that could potentially live forever would you do it oh. like download my consciousness online is that, is that what you're talking about yeah yeah well you would you would still exist and like this would be a copy of you, so you still uh, die. But it's not really you. No, but to that to the copy of you, it's it's you. It's you. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I don't know if I could do that. You know, I don't care. I'm too selfish to care about my copy. It's like it's like a, it's a copy. It's not a. It's not. Yeah. Genuine. And that copy would think the same thing, and then become yeah. self-loathing. Yeah. No. Well, would the copy know it's a copy? Like, does someone, like, sit him down and give him a talk? It's like, hey, man. Like, uh, hey. So, instead yeah. of the birds or the bees Gotta, talk, it's like, yeah, by the way, like you're a clone. That weird blank space between your legs, yeah, there's a reason for that. Well, it's, uh, what was that movie that had, um, about the magicians? Oh, the Prestige. Prestige. Pre- prestige. That was yeah, it's, ba- it's basically that. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was, like... You know, he would step into the machine and he wouldn't be the, wasn't sure if he would be the person that ends up in the tanks or the person that gets teleported. Yeah. So, like, the original him, like, died the first time he did that. Yeah. So is cloning a form of time travel? Because <laughs> we're getting way off topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're trying to steer this ship, people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring up the time travel thing then. Oh, yeah, Smart time travel. Guy. 
Um, okay. There's been a lot of photos. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Or and footage too. Yep. Time travel. I, yeah. Actually, there's one in that occur- occurred. I guess I've done that. In a uh, BC. Yeah, the hipster. Oh, wait. Yep, the hipster. That, uh, that uh, it was an opening of a bridge, and I can't remember exactly where in BC it was, but Cancun. But uh, yeah, there's this very tall guy looking like a hipster. Yep. And, and like everyone else is dressed up in like 1940s ish clothes. Yeah, and this guy looks like he just walked out of an Urban Outfitters. Yeah. Yeah, like I have a hard time believing. Like. Oh, it's been debunked. Yeah, it's been debunked. Yeah. Like Ma- the main thing he's wearing sunglasses, like, hey. which like nobody did, like in that day. Hey, he's protecting him. Yeah. Gotta block those UV rays. But but apparently like this like style of sunglasses was apparently made in like 1912, so it was all legit. Yeah. So it yeah, was fun while it lasted. Yeah. And there's like photos of people. It kind of looks like they have a, like a cell phone or something like that. But if you're time traveling, who are you calling? There's no cell service. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, well, maybe that's your device. Like, or you got a wicked data plan. Like, that <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> I'll have the uh, sub- subatomic data plan, please. <laughs> the, the quantum plan? The quantum please? plan? The quantum plan from TELUS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like you connect have to with your friends and family and like that year through time. <laughs> you need to call yourself no. to remind yourself to buy the the data plan. <laughs> <laughs> we get you covered. But Good. yeah, because there's that one lady in the uh, Charlie Chaplin movie. Yeah, where like it looks like she's on a cell phone. Yeah, appar- apparently or that's the twenties uh, or thirties. Yeah, that was apparently a like an ear horn kind of like a hearing device yeah it was, a, it was a, like a old old timey hearing aid basically yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, crazy yeah which is kind of cool but yeah i find that more interesting <laughs> than a, a non-fictional the the fact fictional cell phone. yeah the yeah. fact that they had like a listening device now listening yeah listening. yeah uh back yeah. binoculars for your ears yes yeah. basically there you go that, like a side note coming in, in from like time traveling and stuff like what would happen if like for example you did like travel back to time like in time and like your your way back home got destroyed like are you stuck there? Yeah. Probably, eh? You can't do anything. But would your time that you're connected to would that stay frozen until you got back or would it be like a tomorrow war thing going. or would it keep going? Yeah. Oh. That would be weird. Yeah. Well, yeah, if yeah. you're going if you get to choose when you go back, you just go back to before it got destroyed. Yeah. Oh, but, like, what if, like, when you got there, it's, like, something happened and you just couldn't get, you, like, you didn't have a functioning time machine. Like. Then you'd be stuck. N- yeah. You'd be screwed. Yeah. Yeah. You're, should have had a flat tire. Already. Yeah. Better figure out how to make a fake identity. Yeah. You just got right? de- You got a deal. Yeah. How, how would you, like. If you guys, if you guys ended up time traveling and getting stuck, where would you want to get stuck? Um. Now. Like right here, like in, like how, I wouldn't want to get stuck when anywhere does bit, else. But when does Bitcoin start? Ooh, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> that'd be a good spot. I would go back there and I Just would buy all. The, man, all in. I I, I I totally thought about like buying some like back when it was like fifteen bucks. Oh damn, really? And yeah, didn't do it. Side yeah. Side Bitcoin note onto the Bitcoin crazy. thing. Did you guys ever hear about the guy? He has over like I think, I don't know, like so, like a stupid amount of like millions of Bitcoin. Uh, he forgot his password. Too. Yeah, he was yeah. One, one try away from it being like yeah, it's stuck destroyed. on his like hard drive or whatever. So yeah, yeah. there's I'd actually be been a lot pissed. of those stories. Yeah, yeah. Because back in like when it first started, it wasn't like an online wallet thing. It was like a, it was stored on your hard drive basically. Yeah, it was like yeah, an account kind of thing. Yeah. Like, oh man, I would be so mad. <laughs> it's like you know you have that much it. money and it's like you can't even access it because of you for, you forgot your password. But you'd think they'd put like. There'd be a bypass or something? Yeah, like, you'd be able to be like, hey, like, I legit can't access my account. I can give you all this information, just like you would for, like, a bank. You know what I mean? If for some reason you got locked out of your account, you can just call the bank and be like, here's, like, my security questions, like, the PIN or, like, whatever. I know I'm terrible with, like, online passwords, like... (laughs) Yeah, me too. Oh, I had to to reset two last night. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And, like, you're sure it's, like... Like, you go on, it's like, uh... 
okay, I can't remember my password. I'll reset it. And then you put in the new password. It's like you can't use this old <laughs> password that you used. It's like, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's like, but that was the password I was putting in. Like, <laughs> oh, And then it's like you put it in again because you're like, okay, screw it. Like I obviously know it. Then you put it in. They're like, that's the wrong password. You're just like, what the? F- yeah. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, you think they'd have a backup though. Like if somebody has that much like investment into like cryptocurrency, like they'd have a backup way to get you in there again you know like yeah but i mean this is this is kind of like an old hard drive so it would it would have been just like him that set it up so that's true yeah but yeah Yeah. there's like stories of people like they had like they bought like a pizza with their like 50 bitcoin (laughs) (laughs) meanwhile that's worth like half a million (laughs) right now (laughs) oh boy yeah yeah there def- like if I if I could time travel, I definitely time travel to times where it's like investment investments were way smaller because I feel like I missed out on so much. <laughs> well, thing that is though, if you did travel back to then, you, like a version of yourself would still be there. So what do you do in that? Oh, case? that'd be weird. Yeah. Do you imagine running into yourself? No, you just go, dude. Yeah. Bitcoin. Invest. 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 Then you split. And then go you, back to then your own you time. Would, yeah, if you could. All, yeah. All, all, if you don't disappear in like a Back to the Future type thing, because like you just changed the future, too. you wouldn't go back to tell yourself to invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> so, but it'd be like the, the Bill and Ted thing, where they're meant to do that. That's true. Yeah, that's Bill and Ted. So, well, well, you haven't brought up hey. Bill and Ted. I just did. Wow, that's disappointing. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen the new one? That's a great. No, I haven't. Is it good? It's okay. Keanu Reeves seems really tired days. in it. He's been busy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Because he had, like, John Wick and, like, a bunch of other movies coming out around the same time, didn't he? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if, like, he's trying to channel, like, a 1980s, not stoner, but kind of surfer dude. You know, uh, yeah, when he's not really a surfer. He's when he's in the 40s. Yeah. Try, trying to channel that, like, at that age. It's hard sometimes. So, th- so like, the characters haven't really matured at all? No. They're yeah. just the same goof. The, 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 well, th- that's kind of the thing. Like the, the, yeah. these guys, like were supposed to change the world, and uh, they they just like <laughs> don't. <laughs> hmm. Plus, no George Carlin. Yeah. Well. I mean, yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. I still want to see the team that did Spider Verse do a Bill and Ted's movie uh, again. That would be fantastic. I agree. Yeah. I, I might. I might kickstart that one. I love it. That'd or be great. Some sort of I feel like a lot of people would be down for that. You, like you can't, uh, uh, who wouldn't want to see that? Yeah, be fantastic. Right? That would that would be great for sure. Um, trying to think if there's anything else time travelly wanted to. Oh, uh, if you're looking for kind of a weird thing, I found like an Art Bell episode. Ah, uh, coast to coast. Coast. To, if you ever Love want to look up like anything coast. kind of out there, look up uh, Art. He like his episodes are like on YouTube. Uh, but it was, uh, if you don't know about Art Bell, he had like this radio call-in show, uh, back in the day where he would talk to people about like kind of otherworldly things. He takes a very kind of sensible and academic view towards it. Like he's not, yeah. he doesn't necessarily believe everybody that he has on, but it's kind of. But he doesn't mock them. Either. Yeah. He's smarter yeah. Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> and George Nori too. Yep. Uh, yeah. but yeah, the people that he has on for this uh, time slip episode it's kind of funny like because he doesn't I, I don't think he believed his his guests <laughs> for this because this lady claimed that there was this like she found this uh circuit city that was out of time <laughs> like what? apparently like she was at like the strip mall or something and they ate lunch and then walked outside suddenly there's a circuit city there and apparently she goes in and interviews people about the Circuit City and makes them sign affidavits that the Circuit City has existed. And, of course, then when they went back again, the Circuit City was no longer there. It's like, that's your evidence? So like, you, I'm so confused. Imagine working at, like, an electronic store and this lady comes in and it's like, uh, yeah, could you sign this affidavit to prove, you're to prove that real? you're real? <laughs> I'd be like, No. Uh, like, like I, I know I'm real. Like, like, it's like no, but I can call the cops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, why do you want Actually, me to sign it? Like, put yeah, my like signature on something is like that you talk to me. It's like, I'm not doing that. But like, we're having <laughs> do, a conversation. Do you want to buy an here. iPod? Like, you. <laughs> <laughs> 
But the, like of all the time traveling things, like a cir- <laughs> circus, the fact just... it was a circus. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah. Are they still I... around? I don't think so. I think they're actually bankrupt. That's too bad because I remember yeah. going to Circuit City <laughs> in uh, Buffalo. It's a good store. Yeah. Like a future shop, kind of. Yeah. Best Buy. But uh, shout out Circuit City. Yeah. And Radio Shack. <laughs> Radio Shack is Does Radio still Shack exist still? Barely. So. Barely. It, but yes. Yep. Oh. There's it, like one, right? Surprising. Yeah, I think it's in like Virginia or maybe yeah. West Virginia. It's like there's wow. one blockbuster left yeah. as well. It's yeah. actually they met- turned that... Netflix documentary on that. Oh, yeah, I thought it? they t- turned it into like a B and B or something. It's like you can go stay there. At, I would. At blockbuster? I would totally crash yeah. at a blockbuster. Yeah, that sounds like yeah. a great fantastic. time. Fantastic. Like just I'm pretty. Like watch I'm a bunch of movies. Yeah. It's like if they got yeah, one of those big like, popcorn machines. Definitely. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like a it's a functioning blockbuster, but they turned it into like a almost like a hotel esque kind of a thing where you can rent it out yeah. and like right. stay in the last blockbuster ever. Like that's the whole about it like they have old vhs's and like all that kind of stuff like here, the nostalgia here, here's ridiculous. my petty time travel thing if i could time travel i would like Just go er- rent a movie <laughs> yeah like every friday night yeah. i'd go back to like 1985 or whenever blockbuster started and like oh, rent sure. rent a rent a movie like because yeah. that was an experience being able to go in oh yeah to look at the box boxes it was, it was it was an experience that will never be replicated. Oh my god! When never. I was a kid, I would spend me and my buddy Scott would spend hours. Yeah, yeah. going go to the video store, store like Friday night. Star Video, Ajax Ontario. Yeah, and King Video. They weren't as good as Star Video. Yeah, that was I like, want to start a fight. That was like the highlight of like your Friday night, though. Is like you get off. Like I know for like like us and stuff as like kids, mom and dad be like, hey, like. It's movie night. Let's go to the like go to the blockbuster in town, and we'd like all hop in the car, excited because it's like we'd get like I think four movies for the weekend. Yeah. Because everybody would pick a movie, and then obviously like the adults, like mom and dad, pick like the adult movies that they'd watch like while me and Becca were asleep. But like it was the coolest thing because like we'd go in there, we'd get snacks. Like I remember there was like a giant bubble gun machine that if you got like a black you got the black one yeah uh, you get the free movie, yeah, you get a free movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody had that it was, i think yeah. it totally. was so exciting because it's like when you got that like you were high. i remember my sister and i, I got back I to back ones and it that. was just like we were so excited it was like the best day ever yeah i miss that experience because it's like i don't think we say like netflix and stuff has like revolutionized the way we watch movies and stream movies but to take that away is like yeah going into like I don't know. A, a video especially like a, like a family run video store or something like that like a yeah. Private, yeah. yeah it was all every one had their own like unique character and stuff like that uh, yeah. oh there was a there was a jumbo video in a uh, Pickering Ontario and it was amazing because their horror section yeah it looked like the entrance to like a like a basically Dracula's castle <laughs> and That's just, cool. like, they had bats hung, like hung, hanging up and like, yeah. these gates man oh it's fantastic that that so would be, totally be my petty like time traveling thing going, going back totally. to that totally no that, that's I not agree. petty yeah that's, that's not genius. petty also going back in like to like classic arcades yes yep. yes if anyone wants to get in on an opening an arcade business uh yeah. my twitter handle is <laughs> in the name key yep maybe I'll throw that up right now hold on give me a second well, people have been doing like barcades uh yeah things oh yeah yeah where it's basically a bar and yeah, arcade like, combined like what's the, the busters uh, dave and busters yeah yeah that's the thing still like chuck e cheese for remember, adults was it i remember there was one that was like there's not one but like um what is it cinema the oh my god cineplex they have it when you go into some of their theaters where it's like they'll have the movie theater but then they'll have like a separate like massive arcade like cross iron mills in uh calgary or Balzac or whatever, they have one where it's like they have like the giant uh, arcade and you can actually go in there and it's like you get these little like cards yep. and you put money on it and then you go play, but it's like you earn points. So it's like you can actually earn like like the silly little prizes or like the big ones oh, too. I tickets. remember there was, there was one where it was like they had like a jersey from like, I think it was the Stampeders and it was signed and stuff. And it's like it was like ten thousand tickets or something like that. So it's like you had to earn it. But I, well, I always loved that. That's those what places. arcades seem to be now, mostly like ticket places. Like yeah. I, I'm talking about going back somewhere and playing like 1942 oh, like, on oh, like okay, a okay. yeah, uh, like you gotta bring cabinet. ten pounds of quarters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get, yeah. And he, you got to you got to line your quarter up on the Mortal Kombat yeah, two. Yeah. Put it right at the bottom of the screen. Do. And then lose yeah. to like a teenager who's like six years older than you. 
<laughs> yeah, but then, it, like, those, I, I remember seeing, like, the teenagers around, like, that kind of stuff and being like, you're, t- like, you're taking on kids. Yeah. It was a brutal world. Doggy yeah. dog. It was, it, it was savage. What are you doing? You're oh, playing man. Mortal Kombat 2. So. Yeah, when I was playing Mortal Kombat 2, I was crushing dudes who were in their 20s, and I was like, I don't know, like 11? <laughs> how many, how many of those guys did you piss off? <laughs> a lot. Yep. My dad was stoked, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. That's right. Like you that. better like get kids. good if yeah. you want to play. Yeah, it's, that's that's true. the rules. That is yeah. true. If you don't like it, don't play. It's true. Mortal Kombat like 2, only, Kung Lao. Yep. The only like arcade boy. that I can remember was actually at a campsite we were that we used to go to. I remember it was like kind of a dreary day, so we couldn't go to the lake. And we went to like the little corner store, and like you you would think me being I think it was like ten or twelve or whatever, like the whole stranger danger thing. It's like. You know, you you don't listen to people that you don't know. But this guy was Especially like so yeah, nice. He's like, yeah. And he was just like, hey, like I got like, do you guys like arcade games? And we were like, what? He's like, yeah, like follow me. Like he opened up his like garage that was beside the corner store, and it was just like filled with like old games, like Mortal Kombat, like uh, the zombie game. I can't remember the name of it. Used to shoot him, and like all these like really old dead. school games. And I guess he tried to get an arcade started, but there wasn't enough people around. Yeah like invest in it so he was like screw it like i'll just put it in my garage and like if there's like kids at the campsite they can come play but like it was the coolest thing yep that no. just set off a lot of flags though yep it, it, it did but i like looking back i'm like you, i'm really lucky but well, you, I mean, you would have cool. like gotten to the free candy van wouldn't you <laughs> yeah, like, what the hell? i hope not but like after that <laughs> incident like i might have oh i want to mention something we, we we posted our conspiracy theory video and then when I came into work the next morning, there was a van, a white van, parked oh, inside yeah. of our workplace with plumbing what? on the side of it. It, it was gone by the time you got here. But, uh, yeah, there was, like, a white van. It was, like, plumbing written on the side of it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, say, I'm not oh. saying that there was anything going on. But Coincidence? <laughs> Probably. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so. We have guys, security cameras, so. Yeah. You want to come test? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we could probably grab the footage. <laughs> okay, what, what? which conspiracy theory do you think uh, set them off? <laughs> <laughs> it's re- it's got to be the reptiles. Yeah, has to be. Yeah. That's is. the only one that makes sense. Mark or the Hollywood elite one. Or the, maybe, cu- or the cuttlefish. Yeah. Cuttlefish. <laughs> Watching you. <laughs> you. You know what? I haven't forgotten. You know what it is? My- I don't think it was their conspiracy theory video. I, th- I think it was Big Bologna. Ooh. <laughs> no, it's Big Ham. They're trying to intimidate us. Oh, yeah. It's like, hey, that positivity you're putting behind Bologna? Yeah, your Bologna positivity? Gotta knock that off. Not happening. <laughs> They're coming no, out. No, not just, yeah. happening. Why did I? Hashtag Bologna just, bullies. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Yep. Right there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I just pictured, like, two you. guys in, like, pig masks, like, kidnapping you two and being like, <laughs> <laughs> don't don't be positive about baloney. This is bullshit. Ham big is ham. the ultimate one. Yeah, big ham. Yeah. Ham. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> All right, big ham. You want you want to go? We can go. Yep. Oh, don't don't we intimidate will, big ham. Yeah, we we got baloney backup. <laughs> yep. So listen, Bertha Big Six got our back. What's up? Yep. Oh my God. You want to draw really blood? Went off topic. <laughs> yeah, this is important. Yeah. For sure. Th- this is the content that you're looking for, <laughs> according to... Oh Bologna is still way better than ham. <laughs> Come at us, ham. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag ham what? abandonment. Ham abandonment. <laughs> ham will abandon you. Because it's evil. <laughs> oh, God. And oh, God. Bologna is the only cure. Yep. Well, I <laughs> brings us to the end. <laughs> there are so many things that I didn't even mention. Uh, we, where are we? Oh, man, we're, we're past an hour? Yeah, we're past an hour. Okay. Oh they, I mean, I, we can keep going if you want to bring something up. I mean, it's already not going on TV because <laughs> we're past an hour, <laughs> unless we go to an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know if I have any more. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up. All right. Okay, like a... Delicious piece of bologna. I get it. Uh, love you, bologna. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you love us too. Yep. But <laughs> folks, make sure you uh, like, subscribe, ring bell for notifications, and uh, yeah, comment. Let's get some engagement going. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, gonna have our Twitter handles in the name keys. Yep. 
Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Uh, oh, I had another one. Crap. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah. Ham sucks. <laughs> For Media Minute, I'm Michael Forward. Ham sucks. <laughs> I'm Rachel Edge. We'll see you next time. <laughs>